welcome to One Pizza Too Many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos. Now, today I'm going to be doing something to go with a video that I've already made. Any of you remember this little video? Chicken burgers with bacon and cheese that I did on the Ninja Grill um, about two weeks ago from me filming this particular video and it went down an absolute storm. Um, I couldn't believe how well you guys received that video and I had a lot of comments uh, to ask how did I make the barbecue sauce that I put on that burger. The link to the burger is just above me for you to watch later. So I thought let's let's do that video. So today I'm going to show you how I made that sauce and um, it's dead dead simple using the Ninja Foodie. We're going to use pressure cook and it only takes four minutes to pressure cook this particular sauce. Nice and easy, done. And I've also brought along for the ride the Ninja Hot and Cold Blender or Soup Maker um, because I like the sauce nice and smooth. I'm going to use this to blend the sauce up nice and smooth or you can leave it chunky, it's totally up to you. Now, before we go any further, I know a lot of you will be looking at this saying, oh, he's putting whiskey in it. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, for those of you that don't um, like alcohol in your food or um, don't drink alcohol, yeah, skip it, yeah, I'll show you and talk you through what to do instead, okay, but for the purposes today I will be putting some of this in, okay, so I'm going to talk you through the ingredients and then we're going to get started. We have 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes, two tablespoons of soft brown sugar, we have one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. We have rock salt, cracked black pepper. We have some Laphroaig whiskey. We have one carrot, three garlic cloves, two yellow or white onions, depending where you are in the world. One red onion. We have oregano. We have smoked paprika. We have maple syrup. And we have some rapeseed oil and we also have one and a half cups of water then we've got obviously a knife and a peeler a spoon, a ladle and a soft spoon silicon spoon for using in the Ninja and also a waste bowl for when we're peeling and prepping and then we have the Ninja Foodie this is the OP500 UK so this is the Ninja Foodie Max, the big version and we also have the hot and cold blender or also known as the soup maker Okay, so move the Ninja Food in to position and it's all plugged in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over and change the settings, so function to sear and saute. And I'm going to put this on a medium heat and I'm going to press go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the vegetables first. And I've got three cloves of garlic which I've just peeled. I'm just going to slice these and these are going to go in the pot first with a little bit of oil. There we go. So I've got some rapeseed oil. It says vegetable oil on the uh, bottle but if you zoom around and look at the ingredients, most veg oil at the minute is rapeseed oil so don't go buy an expensive rapeseed oil when the veg oil is just as good. So I put two tablespoons of oil into the Ninja pot itself. Then I'm just going to top and tail the carrot and I'm going to peel it. It is a bit windy today but temperature's warmed up a bit which is nice. So one carrot, top tailed and peeled, and then slicing this nice and thin. Be 
because the smaller you chop things, the quicker they cook. So, and I'm just going to slice this up. Slice them up and then turn them around and what I'm going to do is just roughly dice these. And all of that is going to go in the pot with the garlic and the oil. It smells amazing. smell of garlic, cooking outside. So next, honey in. So I'm just going to top and tail them all. Cut them in half. Take the outer layer with the skin off. So that's all the skin taken off and then we're just going to slice these nice and thin And then these are going to go in. And that is it for vegetable prep and chopping. Then I'm going to add some salt. So, a good pinch of salt. I'm going to put two in. This is going to soften up the onions, bring out the moisture. And then Crap black pepper, about a teaspoon, and again all of these sort of amounts for spices, salt, pepper, you can adjust these to how you like them yourself. And I'm just going to give this a quick stir, and already the carrots are softening nicely. And then into this, we're going to go with the sugar the garlic powder and the onion powder. That sugar's going to give it a real sort of um, molasses sort of flavour. Really nice. And sort of start caramelising with the uh, rest of the ingredients. Then we're going to go in with one tin of chopped tomatoes. Then the oregano. So I'm going to go in with about a, t uh, a teaspoonful. I'm using a big spoon here, but there's only about a teaspoonful on it. Then this is this is king to this particular recipe: smoked paprika. Love smoked paprika. So one and two. So two spoons of smoked paprika. Now, remember I said at the start, if you didn't want the whiskey in it, okay, add another spoon of smoked paprika, or you could add a dash of liquid smoke if you wanted to, or just leave it out completely. But I would just add some more smoked paprika. So next, we're gonna go in with the maple syrup, okay. One, just 
two, three, four, and five spoons of the maple syrup. Now, if you're watching going, blimey, this is, this is madness, the amount of stuff he's putting in this. Don't worry, you only have sort of a spoon of this sauce on the burger. Um, it's not like you're going to eat the whole pot in one go. Well, you might do, you might like it that much. And then I'm going to go in with the whiskey. I'm using Laphroaig um, because it is sort of a real smoky, peaty sort of whiskey. Um, there's a little bit left. So I'm just going to go in with about a double measure, about a 50ml of Laphroaig. I'm going to give this a little stir. And already the flavours and smells coming from this are fantastic. Um, then I have some water. I've got one and a half cups of water here. I'm not going to need all of this water. Um, I use in a let's have a look. One cup. So I'm left with half a cup in the jug. So I've added one cup of water to this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the lid. There it is. And we're going to put the pressure cup lid on. Lock it into place. And we're going to, the vent at the back, change it to seal. And at the front, we're going to press function and we're going to go up to pressure cook. Okay, then time. We're going to drop this, the time down to uh, four minutes. And we're going to press start. And this is going to build pressure and cook for four minutes. So I'll bring you back um, once this has come to pressure um, and then we'll do a release. So the Ninja Foodie has just beeped and it goes automatically onto the warm setting so it says it's keeping warm now for about 30 seconds and what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick release so the vent on the top um, we're going to stand back and we're just going to open this vent and let it vent Okay, the safety valve has just dropped so we can now take this lid off Wow, it looks, looks fantastic. Check out the uh, picture next to me of how the pot looks inside. It smells barbecuey. Really, really nice. So now what I'm going to do is transfer this into the Ninja Hot and Cold Blender or Soup Maker. So I like I like it nice and smooth. And hopefully, if I'm careful enough, I can do this. I just tip everything in. I get all the well, flavour out. Okay, so that all that's out. And I'm going to put the lid on to the blender. Okay, so when we go with the lid, lock it into place and make sure the little, this little cup measuring cup in the middle is actually locked in as well. Okay, then I'm just going to come round so I can see. I'm going to press the power button and I'm going to go over to manual. I'm going to press blend and I'm going to press medium.
and I'm going to press stop and there we have it all nicely blended up now let's get some of this out and let's have a, have a little taste okay, so let's take the lid off nice and carefully and it's a really really nice consistency now those of you that are thinking could I do this in the soup maker from scratch of course you can it's got a saute function on it put all your veg in, saute it off for the five minutes then add all your liquids and then I would press uh, smooth soup and it cooks it for 30 minutes blends it up, whizzes it round and you do it all in this one machine if you're interested in the unboxing video to this check out the video in this link above me now okay so let's get some of this some of this out now if you wanted this a deeper red um, you could add some tomato puree to this um, and that will give it a deeper red colour as well but I think you'll agree that it looks really good let me come and give you a bit more of a of a close up but as always the proof is in the taste and the eating so let's have a little a little taste test my word smooth smoky barbecuey that paprika a subtle sort of flavor coming in from that Lafroy whiskey wow that you know I said that you're not going to eat a whole pot of it I think you might just wow make sure you get some of this made make sure you make those chicken burgers that I did a couple of weeks ago they're a match made in heaven they really are and both really really simple so guys if you've liked what you've seen please give me a thumbs up feel free to leave me a comment in the description below as well about what would you pair this with would you put it maybe put it on some barbecue ribs on the Kamado barbecues or using the grill and obviously make sure you do subscribe to the channel and you're hitting that bell for notifications of when I release a new video so that way you don't miss a thing well thanks for watching everyone and I hope you found this really useful and I hope to see you again very soon thanks a lot for watching one pizza too many